morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie and if this is your first time stopping by my channel, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. Our morning devotions are being taken from Brenda Kuhneman's book called The Daily Prophecy and today is Friday, September 24th. Our devotion today is entitled, His Name is Therapy. Let's hear our prophetic word. Let my name wash over you this day, says the Lord. For even as you say my name, it shall be as therapeutic ointment that shall calm your heart and bring peace and quiet to your mind. There's nothing like the name of Jesus, I tell you. Our scripture comes from Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. Thy name is as ointment poured forth. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. We definitely know there is power in the name of Jesus. His name causes demons to flee, which, by the way, is why people want to stop the use of the name of Jesus. They don't mind religion. They don't mind. They'll accept any and every religion. Just look at our culture today. You mention Jesus, and they're trying to ban it. They don't want it heard in the schools or in the public. They'll let anybody pray any kind of prayer until you say you want to pray in the name of Jesus. And then it's like, oh, you're a bigot. Oh, this. Oh, that. Yeah. The name of Jesus has power. And just look at who is opposing the mention and the use of the name of Jesus. Chances are, if they back up any policy or anything that bans the name of Jesus, they are not standing with the Lord. I don't care who they are. I don't care what they say with their mouth. If they come into agreement that the name of Jesus or any mention of him or any practice of the faith of following Christ should be banned or should be hidden behind closed doors in your own private homes, anything that infringes on that, those people are not walking with the Lord. I don't know why I needed to say that. They are inspired by demons. <laughs> Everything must bow down to the sound of his name. Yet there is a special intimate side to his name that we need to make a part of our lives. Let me say that again. Yet there is a special intimate side to his name that we need to make a part of our lives. The Song of Solomon is the detailed account of a love story. While written as between a man and wife, it is truly the love story between the Lord and his people. Song of Solomon 1.3, in reference to the name of his true love, says, Thy name is as ointment poured forth. He was indicating that every time he heard or spoke the name of his one true love, the sound of it washed over him like a soothing ointment on dry, irritated skin. The sound of it alone brought relief. We can all think of someone special in our lives who, whenever you hear their name spoken, it moves you in a way that other names do not. Even people with the same names of those we love, when the name is spoken, it reminds us of our loved ones and can make our heart leap. When you experience times when your heart feels heavy or your mind is agitated or tempted to worry about something, let the name of Jesus become a therapy to your soul. Just repeat his name aloud and let the sound of it wash over your mind and calm you. His name alone is your therapy. And I can truly attest to this. When I have seen, you know, last year in 2020, when there were so many uncertainties, when COVID was coming out and there was so much going on that was meant, designed to enslave us to a spirit of fear. And I can tell you right now, most of what's happening in the attitudes in our world is driven by a spirit of fear. Okay, I'm not going to get into this, but uh, get into that side of things. But I can tell you, when I look at injustice, when I look at the things that are happening that are wrong, that are chaotic, that are disastrous, my heart and my mind could be troubled. And then I call on his name. 
And as I enter into that place of prayer and intimacy, I remember, Lord, you are bigger than these things. And it literally, peace just falls upon me. And he tells us in Isaiah 26, 1, I believe, he will keep us in perfect peace when our minds are focused on him. Don't look at the world and our culture and the circumstances, whether they're political, whether they're health-wise, whether they're family-connected. Whatever the circumstance, God is bigger than all of it. And he's able to move in ways and be with us no matter where we go. Okay? His name has power. I mean, you can just look at somebody who's in jail for life for committing crimes that they admit to committing. Death row even who have been transformed by the name of Jesus, even in a place where they're facing death because of their, their sin and they have peace in the middle of all of it. That's the power of that name. None of you are in circumstances that are that dire. So I know that God can make a difference. His name can make a difference. Won't you allow him to let his name become a therapy for you? Won't you trust him instead of listening to the voice that is nothing but negativity and gloom and doom. It doesn't matter your circumstance. He's bigger than that, and he cannot lie. He is the one who is safe to trust. It doesn't matter if your natural eye cannot conceive of how God can change it. He can in an instant, and he will. This, from the very beginning of this year, God has been telling me and others this is going to be a year like none other. He's going to move in a way that astounds people, in a way that we have only read about biblically. We're going to see his hand move as his glory comes. He's going to right the wrongs, and he's going to bring his justice. Allow his name to be a therapy to you today. Call upon him, even in the impossible, and you will see him move. Let's pray the prayer. Today, Lord, I just say the name of Jesus. There is no other name that can satisfy my thirsty soul and bring relief to my heart and mind. The sound of your name washes over me. Jesus. We invite you to come into every circumstance and situation. Lord Jesus, let your name wash over us. And I give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. I hope that's kind of helped you see things from a different perspective. Thank you again. Make sure you like and subscribe. And God bless you. Until next time.